what wakes in the night, flies through the air, and sometimes even sucks blood. It is me. No, not you, Dracula. Or? I'm talking about bats. These creepy critters have been sweeping across our screens, trying to freak us all out for a long time now. But in real life, are bats really so bad? So I thought I'd better find out the real truth about these funny little creatures from someone who likes them so much she even comes to their rescue when they're in trouble. Her name's Katrina, or as I like to call her, Batwoman. That was weird. Okay, Amelia, welcome to my uh, little bat cave or my bat room. As you can see, Katrina is a big fan of bats. Are you my little bat? Uh, actual bats. They really do get a bad rap. I think people look at it as though they're vampire bats. Um, we don't have vampire bats over here. They have got pretty mean teeth looking, um, but they need those teeth to chew up their prey. She takes in the injured animals and nurses them back to health. And right now she has four little microbats. They're exactly what they sound like, teeny weeny flying mammals. And there are more than 800 species of microbat in the world. Look at that face. Only your mother could love it. <laughs> no, they're beautiful. Katrina gets a lot of calls to help bats around this time of year. Not because it's Halloween, but because they're all coming out of hibernation, ready for breeding season. So they come into my care. I warm them up a little bit, give them a few drops of water, um, some mealworms and fatten them up, and then I release them back into the wild within about a week. Katrina says it's really, really important not to touch a bat if you find one. Some do carry disease. Not so much down here in South Australia, but more up in the tropic areas. And they will bite you, they will give you a nasty little nip, and they will scratch you, and we don't want that to happen at all. Yeah, that's why I'm keeping my distance. Except... How about we go and feed him? <gasps> yes. Yeah, let's do it. Are you hungry? So this was a bit grosser than I expected, but a bat's got to eat. Unlike bigger bats, microbats find their food using echolocation. They send sound waves out from their mouth or nose, and when those waves hit an object, they echo back. The nocturnal animals also use it to find their way in the dark. So it's very important because they can't see very well. So they really depend on this echolocating to uh, get, their, get them around. Around 43 out of 70 Australian bat species are threatened or vulnerable. While predators like big birds and cats are a problem, droughts and destroyed habitats are bigger ones. The biggest thing is uh, deforestation. Chopping down the areas where they live to build housing um, is a big, big problem. That's why this bat lover says it's more important than ever to care about these actually quite cute little creatures. Some of these bats, um, there's not too many of them left, so we need to conserve as many as we can um, and get them back out there into the wild. Subscribe to our channel, so sorry. <laughs> 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 <laughs>